Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial from Design30. Today we are going to be going through how to use the sweep tool. So let's dive right into that. So to start off, we need to create a sketch the way most of these tutorials start off. Okay, and just to make this easy, let's go with a rectangle to a center rectangle. Let's start it right here in the center. This will, this will be important, you'll see why. This will be pretty helpful. Okay, so let's start with that. Let's put on some dimensions. Oh, that's pretty big. Let's go a little bit smaller. We'll go five inches by five inches. Just a nice, perfect square. Okay, so that's our first simple sketch. Let's finish that. And now what we want to do, or eventually want to be able to use the sweep tool. So we need a profile, which we just created, but then we also need a path that this profile can be swept along. So let's create that path right now. So let's go back up to another sketch. Let's create a sketch on this face, which is uh, parallel or not parallel, but perpendicular to what we just created. Okay, let's create a line here. Actually, instead of a straight line, let's do this spline. And let's go from the center point of that uh, square that we just created and start creating this spline, which is going to be our path that this profile is swept along. Okay, that looks, oops, I hit escape, and that is not what you want to do here, so let's recreate that one more time. Just add some random points, go out a little ways, and you're done. Make sure do that instead of hitting escape. That will not be helpful. And the shape of this right now doesn't really matter. Um, you could mess around with that a little bit if you want, but for now, let's just leave it like that. Okay, so we have a square, which is our profile, and then we have this random path that we created with a spline. So let's take a look at how we use the sweep tool. Click on that, it's gonna ask you for what's the profile that you wanna sweep along the path. We have already created this, it's the square. And then next you click that path. And there's the spline we had already created. So. Pretty simple. It takes that profile, sweeps it along the path and creates this solid body. Uh, this one looks, uh, again, a little goofy because we made it pretty random. And if you wanna go back and edit that path, you definitely can. So you can start grabbing some points. Maybe you wanna make it do something like this. Let's go out here, just make this a little bit more exaggerated. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, and it is having some trouble. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on there. Let's edit this feature. Unable to create a valid body because a lateral edge starts off of the profile in the opposite direction of the sweep direction. Okay. Let's see what we can do to fix this. Um, well, let's go back to our profile here. Maybe we need to be um, a little bit more careful with how we create this. Actually, let's do a line here. Let's make it a construction. Let's go this direction. Okay, click here. We make those tangent. So now we're coming out tangent to uh, the plane that our square was drawn on. Okay, let's get exit out of that. Let's try to make this a little bit less extreme. Let's go something like that. Okay, and so now we fixed it. I think if we, what you wanna do is make sure that this line that I added this sketch relation to, if you have this tangent to some other line, in this case I used a, uh, construction line, just make that tangent so that it's coming out uh, perpendicular to the plane where 
you actually have your square or your profile drawn. And that seems to fix the issue. So you can make all sorts of crazy shapes, of course. Uh, with this, it allows you to uh, take a profile and potentially sweep it in a more organic shape. Um, you could, of course, also do a cut if that was something that you uh, were hoping to do. Uh, we can actually show that real quick. Um, let's take a look. Let's see what it would look like to do a swept cut here. Let's see if we can do a swept cut down, essentially along the center line of this current sweeped or swept feature that we made. So let's click on that face, create a circle in here. Um, okay, let's make it 2.5. All right. So that's our new profile. So let's go down to sweep once again. It's gonna ask for the profile we wanna use. Let's click there. For the path, let's click the same path that we had used before. So let's show that sketch. There it is. Now we can click on it and it automatically selects a cut. Okay, it knows what we wanna do. And boom, let's hide that sketch. And now we've got a swept cut all the way along this. And just to confirm that, let's go to inspect, do a section analysis here, pull that back and hit okay. There we go. We can see that this cut successfully followed the exact same path. So that's all there is to the sweep tool. It's pretty simple. You can make it basically as complicated as you want to. You can create a body out of it. You can do a cut. Uh, it's all very similar to a lot of the tutorials we've done in the past. As you're probably noticing at this point, there's a bit of a theme to all of this. So that's it for this tutorial. As always, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. And like I always say, remember, design more, despair less, Thanks for watching.